In a lead intake process, if we are going through a collection of leads and trying to validate them, make sure that they are quality, there are a few different ways we can go about that. One way we could approach it is by checking if they are using a corporate email address. Quality leads should be using business emails. If they're using a free email domain, then that won't be useful to us. So a way we can cross-reference data here is by making use of lookup tables. Before we apply lookup tables to this process, let's figure out where we can go to look at them. To access your lookup tables, you go to the left-hand side of your screen and scroll down to Tools in the nav bar. And then underneath Tools, we can find Lookup Tables. So let's take a look at one of these lookup tables, Marketo to Salesforce Lead Source, for example. Lookup tables are cross-reference tables that are used to map values in one app to values in another app. In this case, our lookup table is showing how we can map lead sources in Marketo to their relevant categories in Salesforce. Organized like a database table, lookup tables can support up to 10 columns of data with a maximum of 100,000 entries. So we can handle quite a lot here. However, 10,000 rows with up to 10 columns would be optimal. And we can also maintain and update lookup tables with our recipes. For example, building a recipe to add or update data in a lookup table based on new records created in an application. In this case, though, we're not going to use the Marketo to Salesforce lead source table. Let's go back and make use of another one we have, which is called free email domains. And here you can see we have over 3,700 free email domains listed in this data collection. This will be great for us to cross-reference our leads email addresses if they're using a known free email domain, and we have quite a list here, then we know we can filter them out. So let's go back to our recipe now and show how we can make use of it. As I'm looping through my collection of leads at the top of the for each repeat action, I'm going to add a step. And this time under action and app, I am going to look for lookup table. And here we have lookup tables by Workato. And you can see here we have full cred functionality when it comes to lookup tables. We can create new entries, create new tables entirely, update existing tables, delete items, and search them. And for what we're trying to do here, we're trying to cross-reference. So we want to do a search. Next, I need to decide which lookup table I want to search. Well, that's going to be our free email domains lookup table. And if we look at our free email domains lookup table, the column header says email domain. So we need to find what we are mapping over to email domain. I'll click into the email domain input field and select the output from my for each loop, selecting email. So if we're checking that cross-referencing that email address against what is inside the free email domains lookup table. And now I can set up my if condition. So going by the output of our search entries action, we have an option for list size. So list size will indicate how many matches we have in our lookup table. Now we need to set a condition. What do we want to check in this list size? If it's not using a free email domain, then there should be no results. Our list size should be zero. So if our list size equals zero, then do the following. So if the list size equals zero, add those items to the quality leads list. So anything that will have matches in our lookup table will not be saved to this quality leads list, and they will not be saved to Salesforce. One last thing I want to show you when it comes to lookup tables is how you can create new ones. Going back to our tools and our lookup tables page here, I'm going to go click Add New Table. And here I have a couple options for creating the lookup table. I can add entries manually by typing in columns. This is good if I have a small data collection with just a few options. Alternatively, I could also import a CSV, which would be useful if I'm working with a very large table. 